What's up guys, your boy Fixit Daniel, and I got another fix for you. Actually, it's a refix. I messed up. I have to redo the brakes on my 05 Cadillac STS. And it's gonna it's my literally no one's fault but my own. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so my 05 Cadillac STS V6, I have something I have to do. I have to redo my brakes because they are on the wrong side of the car. Now I had these done before I even started doing a YouTube channel, probably about a, maybe a few months before I started. Um, this is probably what got me started doing my channel was I wanted to show people what fixes and stuff. Gladly I didn't happen to have this one on there, but I will have to do the fix and we'll have to be over here. So uh, what happened is, is these drill slotted rotors are on the wrong side. So this is my driver's side. So everything on the driver's side has got to be on the passenger side and everything on the passenger side got to be on the driver's side. So I was following somebody on uh, YouTube and I'm not going to say whose name it was because technically it wasn't their fault. It was my fault. I should have done more research. I only went to one source and I, that was it. I didn't go anybody else. So I looked up 1A, 1A Auto as they were doing it for a CTS and it dawned on me when I was watching the video how the rotation of the spiral drill slotted rotors were. They were a little different from mine. And then I put two and two together and looked at both of them and realized that mine were on the wrong side. So mine are going with the wheel rotation where it should be going the opposite direction. So the way that the, um, they're kind of like curved a little bit. So I basically got them on the wrong side, which is wondering why my brace kept giving me a really a loud hum every time I would brake, every time I would stop and brake, it would give me a hum and uh, like a right at the very low end when you're starting to get ready to break. But once you speed up and drive and everything like that, no problem. And it never dawned on me that that was an issue. I let it go for so long and it, it just it was a noose of noise. And then I realized that they're on the wrong side. So what we're going to do today is we are going to replace them on the right side. And I got some new pads for them too. So that way it'd be a nice fresh start with them. So I'm gonna get set up and then I'm going to show you guys what, how to change your brakes the right way when you add install drill slotted rotors on your Cadillac SDS. All right, so we're back. And as you see, I went on ahead and took off all four tires all the way around. I had to set it up, so that's why I had to do that. So, so yep, I got it all taken care of. So now, as you see, I can show you a little bit more better that the rotors is in the wrong direction. So as you see how it's kind of going with the, the rotation of the tire, it actually needs to go the other direction. So instead of it going this way, it needs to go that way. And then it goes against the rotation of the, of the tire. So this is on the wrong side. This is the passenger side, obviously. So this side and that side, over there needs to go onto the driver's side and then vice versa. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to do it as well as doing it the right way. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our equipment and stuff. We're gonna get it all changed out. I got, like I said, I got new pads. I got everything to so what we need to do to do this work. So I'm gonna go get my tools and we're gonna get cracking into this. All right guys, so we're back. So what we're going to do is before we even get started on doing our brakes, I got this. This is some brake quiet spray. Now they go on the back of your pads right here. You just spray this stuff on, let it sit. So while we are commencing on taking apart the brakes, I'm gonna spray some of this on the brake pads. So these are the backs. Here's the fronts. And you want to make sure you don't spray them on the on the front of the rotors or on front of the pads. You don't want to spray them on this side. You want to spray them on this side. So we're going to take the spray. Just ever so. We're just going to give it a nice good coat.
And what, that's, what this is going to do, this is going to keep him from making the squeaky noises. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit. And then now we are going to let that dry and do everything it needs to do. And now we're going to go work on the brakes. We're going to work on commencing on taking these off. So I'm going to need my tools. My tools here. And we're just going to go on over there. And we're going to have a seat. <clears throat> Du, 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 du. All right, we're going to leave that sitting right there. <clears throat> All right, so we're back. So we're going to take these bolts off here and here to get this caliper off, and then we'll commence on the uh, bracket, uh, caliper bracket brace, and then we'll take the rotors off. So get this off. this off there's, there's two bolts here and just unscrew with your fingers get one more up here and get the bolts and then this should just come right off just like that let me just lay it off to the side that's what we got the box for something for it to sit on so we don't undrop get it out the way so I can still do my work all right and then now wheelie visible to the caliber brackets so got brick pads right here eh, they're not too bad actually they're actually not that bad but I figure since the stakes since they've been um, we'll hold these for maybe some backups but since I already got some fresh new ones and I already sprayed some new backing stops on the back we're just gonna go ahead and replace them anyway no big deal so take these off actually they weren't as bad as I thought they were I thought they were actually Pretty warm but they actually weren't I hadn't had them on there for a while so for a long time so it should be fine all right and then we gotta take the bolts off here there are two brackets in the back two bolts in the back so Same bolt, same motion. And there's another one down here. One bolt. Sometimes they want to fight with you. All right. Now the bracket's off. Now, most of the time, you can just take the rotor right off, but um, this one doesn't have that. It actually has a little um, torque bit in there to hold it in place. So, as you see, it's spinning the wrong way. It actually needs to be spinning this way, but um, flopped on the other side, obviously. So, we're going to take this little torque bit out. I believe I got the right one here. Yep. 
take this torque bit out. it out and it comes off just like that so actually I'll even show you so the direction is supposed to go is this way this is as I'm spinning it towards it's supposed to go against it not with it so that was the problem that I had so we will swap and then we'll be on the right side and we should be good to go so all right Pork fit, suck it, and then we'll go do the passenger side. So, all right, guys, we're back. Now we're on the passenger side. Same rotation, same thing. So, all we're gonna do is take these two bolts off. There's a. Let me see if I can get a better angle there. There we go. There's a bolt here, and then there's a bolt here. Comes off again. Same bracket. So, same thing just different direction so we will see if I can get a bigger push on it one there we go I'll take these bolts off and this comes off I'll put it off to the side doesn't get pulled and get lean so it doesn't fall. There we go. Then take off the pads. Like I said, they don't look too bad. Actually still got a little bit of meat left on them. Like I said, I haven't had these on in a while, but we'll put some fresh ones on there and we'll just maybe keep these for spares. So alright. So now we're gonna take off the bolt in the back. Let's see if I can push this out. comes off another torque bit take that off All right, 
and that's it. it just comes off and then we go swap the other side over <clears throat> all right we're back so now that we got these on we're going to commence on putting on the brake pads so just one on one side and one more on the other There you go, just like that. And then, I don't know, let's see if we can do it without putting it back on. Yeah, I thought it would be. So we'll take our pad. Doing this one handed is not easy. Now, bolt them up. And that's it. As the pressure goes, then we're good to go. So now we'll do the other side. All right, guys, we're back. So we already did the two fronts. Uh, I only showed one side because the other side is pretty much identically the same. So now we're going to do the rears. So, all right, so now we're going to do the rears. And it's the same step. All right. Yeah. All right. So we just take these two nuts off. Pull this off, and we'll just let this hang. Let it hang up here on the on this little piece right there. Voila. And we just, uh, same thing like the other side, take these two out. These are not too bad either, they look pretty good. And then this one's the same way, just takes a different, different size nut. 
really quite simple just gotta get the nuts off the bracket and this one here too this one there pretty good and here we go there it goes this one's got another torque bit right there Alright, we're back. I had a little issue with the little torque bit for ever some odd reason. It was torqued like crazy in there, but I sprayed a little WD-40 in it and it came right out. It was just weird. Um, so, yeah, always have some WD-40 with you. Alright, so now I got this off. Now it comes off. Ugh. And then we just do the same thing on the other side. So let me grab my stuff. Move this here. Get up. <sighs> I actually took the torque bit off of this one just to make sure that it came off too because I was having some issues today. Get the again Oh. Oh. 
ones are on there. They're on there good. Then commence to putting everything back together. Alrighty. Oh, 
All right. Then just put the put the caliber back on. Oh, but actually, we gotta go get the caliber press. Put him on the wrong side. It happens. do the other side so stay tuned guys all right guys we're gonna now we're on the driver's side rear and now we're gonna go ahead and put it all back together so check our plates screw it down flip it over get it marked Holes. And we're going to take some of this and spray some WD 40 on it so it can seal up. Spray it out. WD-40s on these bolts. Thank you. 
All right. And then I realized that these pads go on particular sides. So this one with the tab goes on the inside of the pad. And then this one without the tab goes on the outside. And then we will get the clamp. Nice and tighten down, undo it, put it in there, voila, and just button it up, get one you start it, and the other, and then together. That's it. Spray your own down. And that's it, guys. Then I'll go ahead and put the wheels all back on and then go take her for a spin and see how she does. All right, guys. Well, I just got back from the drive and the brakes work great. There's no squeaking noise. That that roar noise that I had when, when the brakes were on the wrong side or is going, everything works great. I'm just really blessed and everything, everything working. But uh, hey guys, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you for the people who send me comments on, on the SDSV. I will definitely uh, do some more works on those. But I thank everybody for all the love and support. Please follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Fix it, Daniel. Well, that's it, guys. You guys have a good, blessed day. And I'll see you on the next fix. God bless. Peace.